I've never been fully on board with the concept of being fully retired from work. I did actually try it for a few years after I retired when I was 44 and it wasn't for me. In this video I'll explain my reasons. Before I get into those reasons, I'll just share with you a little bit of my own backstory, which will give some context to why I feel like that. The first thing is I had a good role model in my father. He retired when he was 56 after 30 years in the police force, and he carried on working for the next 18 years, right up until his death when he was 74. He didn't work full time. He worked one or two days a week as a solicitor's advisor on police matters. So he was a good example to me of how you can work even though you're retired. My own story is that I retired when I was 44 and I considered myself to be fully retired. I had no intention of returning to work. I was burned out. I'd had my own business for the past 13 years and it had left a toll on me. I was stressed, I was overweight, I didn't see enough of my family. So as far as I was concerned at 44, I was fully retired, but that didn't last. I actually stayed fully retired for about four years. And then I started getting the urge to return to work. On reflection, that's turned out to be a good decision. When I was doing the research for this video, I came across a couple of articles that talked about how people who retire and don't work have a tendency to die sooner. And it was particularly prevalent among people who'd retired early. That is alarming research. I'm not saying that if I hadn't have gone back to work, I would have died sooner. But if that research is to be believed, then there's a good chance that that might have been the case. But I'm only 63, so you could argue that having only been retired for 19 years, I might not have put in enough time yet to determine whether or not I'm going to die early because I retired when I was 44. We'll just have to wait and see on that subject, won't we? But oh, fingers crossed, that won't be the case. Right, let's get into the reasons why I don't think it's a good idea to retire and why I didn't. There are seven reasons altogether. The first one is purpose. After four years of being fully retired, I found that I was feeling a distinct lack of purpose in my life. Yeah, it was great to be a full-time dad, spend a lot of time traveling, a man of leisure, if you like, all those kind of things. But I have to be honest with you, after four years, I was really getting bored and there was a distinct lack of purpose in my life. The second reason that I decided to come out of retirement after four years and start working again was that I wanted to use the crystallized knowledge that I'd built up in a career spanning 25 years and in particular the 13 years that I'd actually spent running a business. I have to admit it, I'd reached the point where I was actually missing the hustle and bustle of business. So the reality was that with all that knowledge tapped into my brain, it just didn't seem to be the right thing to do to be a man of leisure and let all that knowledge go to waste. My third reason, which is linked to the first two, is that I wanted to help people. I knew there were people further on the path ahead of me, but I also knew that there were quite a few people on the path far behind me. And one of the things I found really useful when I was younger, in my 30s, was having people to talk to who had actually been ahead of me on the path and who I could pick their brains, get their knowledge on my challenges, to help me grow my business and to help me grow as a person. So I decided that it would be a good idea to do some consulting and some coaching so that I could help people too. My fourth reason was that I wanted to use my brain. I was scared that if I didn't use it, I might lose it. Again, there's research on this topic which suggests that if you don't use your brain to challenge yourself, then you can actually experience declining brain function. And there's no way that I wanted to experience that. So that's my fourth reason. My fifth reason is that I find that work enables me to learn. It keeps me in a growth mindset. I find that when I'm working, I'm keen to learn new skills and things that might be useful in the work. I mean, an example of that would be this YouTube channel, for example. You could argue it's a form of work, although I do see it as more of a hobby, to be honest with you. But uh, there are work opportunities that come from it. And I've learned quite a few things. Obviously, I'm not brilliant yet at these things, but I've learned how to edit. I've learned about sound. I've learned even about uh, social media marketing. So I found that one of the big benefits of staying in work is the learning opportunities that it provides. The next thing, my sixth thing, that work gives me is that I avoid being bored. I've got to be honest with you, four years of not working when I first retired, I did start getting bored. Being a man of leisure just didn't suit me. I didn't really want my life to be 
that. I mean, one of the things that I've always looked at is uh, people who walk around shopping malls with the grey hair and their shades of beige drifting through life. It's almost like uh, a phrase that I'd heard is death's waiting room. And I have to be honest with you, it feels a little bit like that. So work definitely means that I don't get bored. Quite the opposite, in fact, and linking back to one of my earlier points about using your brain, is that it helps with that. I've actually found work to be very stimulating. I've never found it boring, no matter what work I do. And I've tried quite a few things over the last 10, 12 years. I've done coaching, I've done consulting, I've done this YouTube channel. There are lots of things that I've turned my attention to and I haven't found any of them to be particularly boring. Quite the opposite, in fact, mentally stimulating. My seventh thing, and I might have left the best to last, I'll let you be the judge of that, is human interaction. And there are some people who would argue that that's probably the most important reason of all to stay working. Because when you leave work and you fully retire, you lose touch with people. At least I did. When I first retired, there was a honeymoon period for about six months when I was really busy traveling, having a good time, indulging my hobbies. And then the second six months of the first year, it started to hit home. I started to feel lonely and I missed the human connection. So I would argue it's worth staying at work just one or two days a week purely for the human connection. Otherwise, retirement can be very lonely. That's it. Those are the seven reasons why I didn't retire fully, or at least why I returned to work after retiring fully, to be more accurate. I hope it's helped. I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are in the comments. If you've retired, how have you adapted? Has it been easy? Do you still work? If you don't work and you never have after retiring, how did you make a success of it? I'd love to hear. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.